What is up guys, my name is K9 and welcome back to the pack. So today I thought I'd do something completely different as I'm still trying to make really good videos for you guys without a face cam. So I thought I'd try something completely different today. And what I'm going to do is a review actually for the first time in forever. I've never done a review actually. Um, I'm not going to do a TV show review or a film review or anything like that. I'm actually going to do a character review from one of my favorite films that's come out this year. Now, if you've obviously seen the title, you'll know exactly who that is. So um, I've seen this film twice already. I'm probably gonna see it a third time soon because I really like it. And that film is Suicide Squad and the character that I'm going to be reviewing is Jared Leto's Joker. Now, this character has had a lot of slating and hate from the internet recently. And I don't know why, because in my opinion, it was actually pretty good. Um, Suicide Squad as a film, I felt like it was a really good film. The only thing I didn't really like about it was the plot was a bit thin. However, I do feel like it was still a pretty good film. All the characters were played really well, especially Margaret Robbie, who uh, played Harley Quinn. She played that extremely well as well, and I'm glad she got the overall psychoticness about her, which really made the film what it is. But apart from that, Jared Leto's Joker, back to the point in my character review, he has had a lot of slating from the internet of being the worst Joker in history. That's actually a title I came across when I was searching through like people's opinions is his actual opinion of a lot of people was uh, <laughs> the worst Joker in history. And I don't believe that for a second. I mean, people have obviously been comparing him to Heath Ledger's Joker and the Jokers before, I don't really know their names, unfortunately, but you know. Um, but still, I really did enjoy Jared Leto's Joker and here's a few reasons why. One reason why is because people have been focusing so much on Heath Ledger's Joker. Heath Ledger's Joker is an amazing Joker. He's still my favourite. Still my favourite actor for the Joker. However, I did feel like Jared Leto's was really good. But people have been focusing on Heath Ledger's Joker as being a psychopath. Obviously, he's been in... I think it's um, one or two of the Batman films. I can't remember where he plays the Joker. But he's he's a psychopath. And he... Um, obviously, that's what Joker is. Joker is a psychopath. But he's also a gang lord. He's a lot of things. Um, Heath Ledger obviously played the psychopath bit of the Joker really well and that's the bit that he kind of focused on. Jared Leto, in my opinion, kind of focused more on the gang lord type Joker. If you keep up to date with Batman comics or even the animated show or films or whatever, you would know that the Joker does have his own... They're called goons actually in games, they're called Joker's goons. If you've ever played any of the games and you have to play as Batman, you beat Joker's goons. I like Jared Leto's version where he actually played the Joker as a gang lord, as he is. And there is a lot of moments in the Suicide Squad film where I felt like he did play the Joker really, really well. He had the psycho part as well. He actually played that extremely well. The bit I do especially like about the Joker, the new Joker, is all his tattoos. And that has also been slated by the internet saying that they're all ridiculous and they're all pointless. However, there are a few tattoos that really stand out to me on the Jared Leto's joke, and that's on his arms especially. On one of his arms, he has like a, a gun shooting a bat, and the bullets go through the bat's wing, and that's obviously related to Batman, and he's wanting to kill Batman. It's, well, not kill, obviously, because if you actually watched the um, Batman series by Christopher Nolan, then you would know that um, he says that he doesn't want to kill Batman because without Batman, he's not the Joker, if that makes sense. So anyway, there's a bullet shooting a Batman's wing, and then on the other arm there is a, um, a Robin dead with an arrow through it and um, that obviously relates to Batman and Robin which is really awesome and also the really the new addition that I liked to the new Joker was the smiling tattoo on his hand that was really a good addition I don't know like how that happened or how who came up with that but I actually really liked that because it kind of made it seem like I don't know it's just I, I can't explain why I really liked it I just really liked that as a new addition but um yeah all the tattoos and obviously damaged on his forehead some people have been thinking that's related to Barbara Gordon obviously if you've seen the killing joke you'd understand what I mean but yeah I did really like Jared Leto's Joker as I keep saying it was really good and obviously there is the ace of cards on his uh, well ace of uh, spades on his uh, left shoulder I think it's his left shoulder the ace of spades and that apparently relates to the um, Ace Chemicals, I think it was. If you read up on that, you'll understand what that is and stuff like that. So that's why I really like the Joker's tattoos. But yeah, in my opinion, I do feel like Heath Ledger is the better Joker, but I don't feel like Jared Leto was a really bad Joker or was a terrible actor at the Joker. What I do think though, is that Jared Leto didn't have as much in Suicide Squad to show 
how much of the Joker he can be, the psycho part and everything. A lot of the parts in Suicide Squad were actually cut out. There are some deleted scenes on the internet now that you can actually take a look at. And if those were put into the film, they might actually be able to help people understand um, just how good of an actor he is. Now, he really got into his part, but it's really hard to take on Heath Ledger's Joker. So I'm kind of glad he wasn't just a copy of that, because if he was like Heath Ledger, the internet would slay him for being a copycat and trying to copy Heath Ledger. But since he's nothing like Heath Ledger, people are now saying he's shit because he's nothing like Heath Ledger. So... Yeah, that kind of really annoys me, but I do feel like he played it really well considering it was the different side of the Joker that we saw from Jared Leto. But I feel like maybe if he had more in Suicide Squad, he would be able to show more of what he has to offer as the Joker. So that would have been a lot easier for us to kind of tell if he was a good Joker or not. Because really, I feel like we can't really judge him on his acting skills considering he wasn't in that much of the film. But I still really enjoyed the film and I really enjoyed his character and I really enjoyed how he played the Joker. But yeah, I thought I'd try something different for this episode. So if you agree with me on Jared Leto being a good Joker, then just let me know in the comments. If you have any other opinions, let me know in the comments as well. If there's anything that I've missed out that you want to point out, put that in the comments. I do read the comments. I do reply to the comments because I don't get that many comments. So it's good to kind of have something to reply to. feels like people are more engaged in my, um, my channel and everything so it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something right <laughs> but yeah so if you did enjoy this uh, episode be sure to leave a like if you want to see more like this then subscribe for now I shall see you later see ya